there's a castle number five for today. And this is Karana, El Karana. And it's going to be the most intact castle that we see, even though it's quite small. And if you can see behind me as I pan around, there's a, a view that just goes on for, for miles. So as a strategic position, it's really well placed. So I've been told that this is really quite spectacular inside. So um, I can see over the doorway there's some really interesting um, carvings. So I'll try and get a close shot of those. And also those arrow slit windows there with the triangles above them, they're going to be very interesting to have a close look at as well. And I can see there that the, um, the stonework, it's not just block on block, there's a combination of straight lines and then kind of herringbone pattern. So I'll have a close look at that as well. So I can see those arrow slit windows. That one is at a def definite angle where this one in the middle, for example, is just straight ahead. So this one over here is at an angle in the other direction. So as a strategic defence, you've got all of the space in front of the castle covered. And as I said about looking at those different rocks or the stones and how they're placed. So um, some horizontal, some vertical, and each layer kind of has its own like little uh, like strata really, a uh, combination that's really fascinating. So this is the main door going into the structure, into the castle. And if you pan up here and you look at the carvings there, there's uh, like five or six panels above that window and each one of them is intricately carved all slightly differently. So I've come into this kind of ante room just as we came through the door. And this is where some of those arrow slits are. So coming through that arch doorway and there's those two rooms off on either side. Those front ones have the arrow slits. And here on the wall, you can see where another structure potentially an arch went all the way around because on the other side there is another matching uh, stone formation. Looking on the far wall there's another one as well by that doorway. If we pan back over here we can see another one so that might have been the, the foundations for the next level up. stairs are going to take us there's some more arrow slits the marble is or the stone is very smooth from the thousands of feet that have walked through it <clears throat> what are we going to find when we get up here a great high into nothing pretty terrifying a large, another large room. There's some anti rooms. Wow, just amazing. There's an arrow slit, so I'm actually standing square onto the wall. I actually have to move 
over here to my left to be able to get a view out of that window. Hole down here, so that might have been for um, just normal drainage, or they could have put uh, hot water or burning oil down onto the enemy. Even a better view. Oh, and here's the arrow slit heading off there to the left. So once again, when you're square onto the wall, you can't see it. But you move to the right, and there is the view to be able to shoot the enemy. I moved over the staircase that I came up with the entrance was there. I came up to this second level. That was pretty amazing. Dangerous don't enter, sure. Let's just walk past that then. Those walls are really thick, really, really thick. Okay, I found another set of stairs, so I might be brave enough to go and explore them in a second. That'll be the staircase down, I'm assuming. Just room after room of these solid walls. So basically what it looks like is the outside walls are the actual the superstructure, and then the inside is just a void... Wow, that looks pretty interesting. I wonder what that could be if it's a fireplace or something like that. My goodness, everywhere I turn, there's just something different. Okay. onto that opposite wall yeah, and that's the main doorway that I came through down the bottom here so I'll go and see if that uh, other staircase will lead me out over here I'm hoping if my uh, geography works okay if not could be any form of a surprise might have to do the whole circuit again and go down the original stairs okay so I arrived down at that second staircase so I'll just see where it leads me. This was the whole idea of doing all those stair training and not using the handrails. Because there's no handrails here to support me. Oh, that's a fantastic exit there. And uh, part of the walking of the stairs, it wasn't actually just the going up the stairs that was important. Coming down the stairs and using the legs in a controlled fashion was also very important. Well, so I'm down back in that central courtyard. That's where I was that last time we looked over this space. Well, pretty impressive. And all the walls are the entire width of the building. That's pretty impressive. Oh, just great. So we're just, this was Karana, wasn't it? Karana, yes. Karana Castle. So uh, that was castle number four. Thank you, Aunt five. five. Sorry. How do you say five in Arabic? Hamsa. Hamsa. It's um. Hamsa. A handful. That's a handful of five. That's all I can understand of that. And um, the reason I'm making this particular video is I've been to five different toilets today, and not one of them ranks in a human perspective as anything decent. That last one, thank God I didn't film it because the smell of vision would have been just literally to die for. And uh, so, 
if you are going to come to Jordan, well, not only do you have to pack your own toilet paper because uh, at the moment I'm using tissues, um, maybe a big nappy, a big adult size nappy that just goes around, wear really loose fitted clothing so that nobody sees that you're wearing a nappy, so that you don't have to actually go to a toilet that isn't in a hotel or um, somewhere that has some form of some form of culture because uh, at the antiquities I would prefer to find a bush but this is Jordan just a pan out here there's not a bush there's not a bush in sight so uh, it's my only ick for the day is going to the restrooms have fun everybody speak to you later